Oh, uh, no, I haven't. Uh, Bernie's going to start, but I don't know uh, what the situation is. we got to practice tomorrow, so I didn't have to spend any time thinking about it. Right, from your experience, and you've done it a lot as a coach, coming out here, the three games, how are there any special challenges to it that are different than in other road, road trips? That you know, I don't know. I think our guys, we came out here, we've been playing well. We know how good the teams are. We understand that, but we're out here. Uh, we had a good laugh out there today and worked hard, and we're going to work hard tomorrow and enjoy each other and, and try to, you know, do a little team building while we're out here and enjoy that part of it and try to get better as a team. But I don't I don't get all hung up and, you know, the road trip or anything. I just know we're playing Anaheim, and if we get prepared and you play real well, you look after business. That's just kind of how I do it. What's the idea of having two practices here? What does that do well, for just, you? I mean, Dion came to me, and he, he said the boys want to get on the road, so... Good enough for me. I thought it was a good idea. We're playing hard. We're doing good things. I think uh, anytime you got a chance uh, to get out here and enjoy the weather, it's a good thing. I used to live out here. It was a lot of fun. So it's good for our coaches. It's good for our players. Like, how does that team building happen on a trip like this? In your experience? Well, let's not get carried away. I mean, you know, team building. You know, as much as it can be about uh, doing ropes courses and doing all this stuff. Teams building is when you block a shot. Team building is when you get it out in the wall. Team building is when you get to the net and you get cross-checked in the head and you tip it in. That's that's real team building because you can trust one another. But being around each other and understanding each other, getting to know each other better and spending some time together, I don't think hurt anybody. So you do that in training camp when you travel, which I thought was real important this year. We got away. And then, I, you know, most of the time you're just in and out, in and out, and you never get any time together. So here's an opportunity for us. Mike, when you took over in the summer and you were taking stock of what you had, what did you envision Leon Kamarov to be for you, and, and how has he lived up to that vision? Well, he's been way better than I expected. I didn't know he was as talented, uh, could make the plays, had the edges, had the hockey sense, had the desire and the compete and the size and the strength. I didn't know uh, that about him. And you know, he was a way better player than I anticipated, which is really good for us. The other thing that's good is he obviously plays hard. And uh, when you play hard, you make people around you play hard and make people better. You have 14 players on this roster with double-digit digit production. How much does that help your success as of late, having that balanced production? Well, I mean, obviously, the more guys you have that score a little bit, the better off you are. As you know, when you look around the league, it's hard to score goals in the National Hockey League. So the more guys that contribute, the better off you are. Uh, you know, for us, uh, last while, obviously, Bozak's lines, he loved Kateri's line. is doing a good job. So... Uh, the harder the harder you play, the more time you have the puck, the more chance you have to have better offensive numbers. And we have the puck more now than we did at the start, and we got to keep doing that.